So I think we have to start right now with the downgrade of the U.S. credit rating by Fitch. How do you see that impacting the markets in the near term today and then longer term? Well, I, I think in the near term, uh, you know, Fitch's downgrade uh, was inevitable. Um, I think they, they've taken a, a step in the right direction. Uh, you know, the U.S.'s fiscal position is deteriorating. Take, for example, uh, you know, right now we're, we're likely to see U.S. debt levels. Uh, they're expected to rise from 98% uh, of GDP in 2023 to about 115% by 2033. Um, so I think it is a, it, it, they, they are providing an important caution for the markets. Uh, but in the near term, I think, uh, you know, direction of markets is going to be centered on the strength of the U.S. economy uh, relative to the rest of the world. And that's what's going to be driving flows. Uh, so I think for the long term, it's something that markets are going to keep, um, you know, on their radar. But the, for the short term, the focus really is going to be on the strength of the U.S. economy. All right. So right now we're looking at some of the charts, the S&P futures, the Nasdaq futures. Despite what the Treasury uh, Secretary says, calling this arbitrary, despite what Goldman uh, Sachs is saying, they're expecting a muted impact. We're seeing a decidedly downside impact right now. So throughout the day, as people continue to digest this and even throughout this week, how do you see this all playing out um, when it comes to individual sectors? Are there some sectors you see that may be more impacted than others? So I think the, uh, the, the risk of mood that is prevailing in markets so far uh, as we uh, you know, started the trading session has largely been dominated by China's announcement that they want to reduce uh, the participation of youth in um, of video gaming. And I think that is sending a risk off sentiment because investors are worried that, you know, China is again beginning to crack down on the technology space within China. So I think that is one factor that's that's uh, weighing on markets. Secondly, we are in August, uh, you know, trading is relatively thin. And I think that's also playing a factor on, uh, you know, sentiment overall. Uh, so I think it's okay. less uh, of a factor to do with what Fitch is saying. And it's more of a factor to do with what, uh, you know, sentiment is doing in China. Oh, okay, fair point. Um, you're also seeing more volatility coming uh, from now until the next Fed meeting. So this is just another factor, I would imagine, that would add to your thesis of volatility, even if you don't think it's the direct uh, catalyst for the volatility or the downside moves we're seeing today. Um, what areas of the market do you see having volatility between now and the next meeting? Um, so clearly the U.S. has been on a you know upward trajectory uh, since we started the year. And I think there is, uh, you know, there is a chance of a correction uh, near term. Uh, so far, earnings have been holding up pretty well. We've seen, uh, you know, a, a, a much stronger uh, earnings per share beat from the U.S. relative to Europe. Uh, but I think, uh, you know, the, the biggest chance of, um, you know, an out, outlier or a surprise uh, that could co catch the markets off guard, uh, you know, could uh, result in a bit of a pause in this upward uh, trajectory that we've been seeing in U.S. equity markets.